Eden Autism Services is actually a program for children, adults, and families who are impacted by autism. We worked with, it, with NISH and I Learn and Earn to look at incorporating teaching strategies that, that were consistent with our curriculum. So we had them come in, uh, NISH set up a kiosk in one of our classrooms, and we had several students who worked through that to help uh, develop the kinds of uh, skills and behaviors that would be beneficial to our specific population. For example, if we look at our early intervention program, we have about 75 to 80 specific skills that we want to teach. We can identify two to three, maybe four specific activities that are games that support the, the teaching of those skills and activities. One of the other pieces that technology also provides us is reinforcement for students. Many times the students that we're working with are significantly challenged in their learning abilities and require high levels of motivation and reinforcement. So the technology, by bringing that in as a mode of teaching, really enables the students to not even realize that they're learning, but are very motivated by the technology, the games, the visuals, and the reinforcement it provides. One of the things that's uh, kind of unique to autism education programs is the level of involvement of families. Families are integrally involved in, in the day-to-day -day activities and closely involved in the activities that we do in the schools. So what, one of the things that we find is that some of these games and activities can be reinforced at home. Once the families know that this is something that uh, fits into the child's learning program and skill acquisition program, they can help support and promote that, the, the further existence of those skills by having the kids actually play these games at home. And it's not like homework, it's not like drudgery, it's a, it's a game, so the kids really like to do it. We find many of the kids will go home and tell the families about the games and say, can we get that here? From the professional end, the ability to have um, a system in place through technology that we can record information, share information, and use it as a platform for education really is, is beneficial. I think one of the critical things about using games for teaching is it doesn't replace teachers. The teachers are actually there to guide the students so that they can differentiate two or three or four different games which would be most appropriate for that particular student and also give them some variety. The key here is it gets back to data collection. So when we're, we can see how many tasks a, a child performs successfully, we can record that data immediately. So it doesn't have to be transcribed and that saves work uh, on the, and time on behalf of the teacher so they can spend much more time looking at the activities that the, uh, that the student is involved in and make sure that they are following the curriculum and that they're building on previous skills that were learned so that they're reinforcing those skills. We can bring these skills, bring these games much beyond the, the classrooms that we have here. So even locally through public schools and private schools, Nina Finkler will be able to bring these games to those families, to those teachers, to those students. But even more globally, with the World Wide Web, we are now getting requests to access these skills, uh, these skill games from all over the world. Thank you, and goodbye from the iLearn and Earn team.